Hi you. guys. Hello. So today we wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about a product that we have been using lately, a product line actually. And our friend Susie Swope, the owner of Girl Gone Green, actually turned us on to this product line and it's called Beauty Counter. And you know, there's so many products out there that it's sometimes hard to know what to trust and which one to choose. And knowing Susie and trusting her, we decided to give it a go. She tries, I mean, her job is really like trying different product lines and she was a really big believer in this. So that's kind of what turned us on to it. Um, it's completely organic, clean, green product. And so of course, you know we love green so we are gonna review for you guys the things that we've tried so far so we ordered stuff about a month ago we didn't want to make this video until we had you know a significant a chunk of time under our belt trying it out um, because we never want you guys to feel like we're trying to push a product at all we wanted to give it our true glue test so we can then take bring those results to you guys mm -hmm. Um, like Kate said, it has been ran through so many tests, so it's super clean. And I think for me personally, like using any of the products that we've ordered, it just felt good knowing that like I wasn't inhaling any kind of chemicals or metals that are not good for you. Um, or, you know, putting anything on my skin that was going to make me sick later down the road. So here we go. Here we go. So the first thing that we were really excited to try because Susie just sang the praises of this is their cleansing balm. So it comes in this cute little container and it's a solid, it comes in a solid form, but with this balm, as soon as you rub it in your, the palms of your hand, it heats up and it becomes more like an oil almost. Reminds me of coconut oil, kind yeah. of like yeah. how solid and then turns to liquid. Yeah. Yep. And this is really awesome for taking off all of your makeup or if you're not someone that wears makeup, it's really great at removing all of the dirt that's gotten on your face throughout the day. Um, I really love this. It is so silky smooth and I do feel like it does a very, very good job of getting all of that stuff off my face. More so even than some of the face washes I've used in the past. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one thing that like, I was always in the battle of like, okay, I wanna wash my face, but I like need to take my makeup off first. Cause you know, if you just like wash your face with your makeup on, it's almost like you're rubbing your makeup in. But I would do like uh, makeup remover wipes and stuff, but I still never really felt like it was like totally off. And with this, I felt like it's kind of moisturizing at the mm -hmm. same time. And it's like really good for your skin. So you feel super hydrated even just taking your makeup off. So it takes off your makeup. It can be used just as a cleanser. So you could use it twice. You could take off your makeup and then cleanse with it again. And then you can also leave it on overnight as like a face mask. Mm -hmm. Like a deep moisturizer. Yeah. Um, for me, I know that I have more oily type skin. And so usually, you know, growing up, you always bought all of those products that were supposed to dry out your skin because that's what they told you, you know, if you had oily skin to go to use those products that would dry it out. Well, that's actually opposite of what you should be doing because when you dry out your skin, your skin wants to produce more oils to help the dryness. Mm -hmm. So when I first got this, I was a little, I wondered about how it was going to work with my skin because I do have an oily, I just I have oily skin so I wasn't sure if this was gonna be too much and it was gonna feel leave my face feeling really heavy mm -hmm. like there was a heaviness yeah. to it but not at all mm -mm. like you feel very clean fresh it's awesome yeah love it next is I tried the counter control clear pore cleanser so I use the cleansing balm and then the cleanser and I really 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 like this it makes your skin feel super super clean without still wet from the shower <laughs> it's not like drying it out too much and it has little tiny beads in it so it's exfoliating at the same time so I really really like that but it's not like overly harsh or anything it's just like a really good standard cleanser I feel like it does what it says it's supposed to do mm -hmm. so love it would definitely recommend it I feel like I have a combination skin so I'll get oily like part way through the day, but I can get like dry too um, if I don't have the right product. So I feel like my skin's been really even keeled. 
I haven't tried it yet, so I have no opinion. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so next on the list is the hydrating body lotion, and the scent is citrus mimosa. Mm. You know, no. Yeah, girls love mimosas. <laughs> we do love mimosas. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. We like so this lotion is I love it because um, I know that for me I've been like a Bath and Body Works gal for a long time, which I know is a no-no, and a lot of their lotions are really greasy. So you put it on, you just feel greasy. And this is not like that at all. You put it on, it's very light, very airy, and it smells so mm, good. It so smells good. like citrus mimosa. Mm-hmm. Mm, yeah. I absolutely love it the only one thing that we were discussing like maybe on the negative end is that we felt like we applied it and like needed to reapply mm -hmm. like halfway through the day looking down your skin but we were discussing like it's partly just the weather right now too is yes. just really dry yeah. especially for us washingtonians <laughs> i was using other lotions before and that kind of was happening before that so it could be kind of like part of partly both i would i think we both would definitely recommend it yes yep counter match adaptive moisture lotion that this is just like a daily face lotion and i love it it smells super good it's really really lightweight it doesn't make your face feel greasy i don't feel like it makes it feel like it it's caked on there like it sits well under your makeup really lightweight so if you are looking for something like a little more intensive like this is probably not ideal but yeah I haven't tried that either. I use, I'm still using my One Love Organics um, mm -hmm. moisturizer and face wash that I mentioned in a video a while back, and I'm still loving that. They have a mm -hmm. coconut water mm -hmm. like moisturizer that's so, so yeah, good. So, But I will be trying this out. Okay, so I wanted to test out the tinted uh, moisturizer that they have because during the week, I really don't like to do my makeup. I... I don't, I just don't do it. And then there's a lot of times where I don't even really want full face foundation when I am doing my makeup. So I wanted to test this out to see what I thought of it. And this is called Dew Skin and it's moisturizing. So it has a moisturizer in there and it also has SPF um, 20, SPF 20, which is so important in your skincare routine. If you're not using this, you should be putting some kind of a sunscreen on your face every single day before you do your makeup. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, so this, I was actually, you know, when I first got this, I, w I wasn't sure about it because it comes in a really cute little pump and I put it on my hand and then I put it on my face and when I was rubbing it on my face, it felt very heavy and greasy. Mm. And so I thought, oh no, I don't know if I'm going to like this or not. And then I just kept rubbing and rubbed it all in. And then as soon as it dried, I, I felt like that greasiness went away. Mm. And my face did not feel greasy at all after it soaked in. It was just the initial rubbing in. I was like, this feels very thick. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not at all. This is very sheer coverage. So this is great for like if you're just wanting to run errands or if you just want a little bit of color on your skin or a little bit of tint this is awesome for you. And don't be discouraged if it feels really thick and, and greasy at first, it's not. Mm. What color did you get? I got number three. Okay, right now this is a fresh spray tan. <laughs> so when I ordered this, it wasn't, this this would not match this. Mm. Um, I would say if, if I knocked my spray tan down a notch, <laughs> this would be good. But who wants to do that? You, no, I know. <laughs> Make it dark. <laughs> Honestly though, Let's try it. Yeah, that's pretty dark. You know, the color, I remember even when I did get this, at the time I was very pale, I had not spray tanned, and I thought that this was gonna be too dark, and then I put it on and it blended really well. And so she'll kind of go into what her thoughts on that with the foundation. Mm-hmm, yeah. So I did the foundation, which is more, uh, like more coverage, and Buildable coverage, right? Buildable coverage, mm -hmm. yeah called tint skin I got it in sand and yeah I had the same thought like it's so hard especially when you're ordering online to know which color to go with and I can't remember how many colors they have but it's honestly not like a ton there's maybe like six seven colors maybe but we talked to Susie too because she's like played around with it more and she was like a lot of them you can go like in between shades mm -hmm. because I don't know what's in it but it kind of like adapts to your skin color. I don't know how that works. I don't it, either. If but anybody it does. knows how makeup knows your skin color, 
let us know. But it's it blends really well. It does. And so it says on the instructions on this, if you want a lighter coverage, almost like a tinted moisturizer, put it on. So I got this brush because it said like put it on with a brush like this, which is like lighter, you know. Um and short and stiff bristles. Yeah. And it, so I'll put that on with that for lighter coverage and I really like this brush too. I got it from them. And then if I want a more of a coverage, I'll put it on with like a sponge or like a more condensed brush and it totally works. I actually, most of the time, will put it on with this one and I love it. It doesn't feel like it's sitting like on top of your face like a lot of times foundation can. It doesn't feel cakey or oily. I'm super happy with it. Yeah, I need to try that next. Yeah. I, and I was like a naked, Urban Decay naked foundation girl to the core. And I could never find anything that I liked as much as that. And now I would say that I actually almost might like this better. Mm -hmm. So that's a statement. That's a lot. That's she got me hooked on that Urban Decay years ago. So. Yeah, yeah. So the next thing is their translucent setting powder. Mm. I love this. Ditto. This is my favorite. Yeah. And we've tried so many translucent setting powders. Yeah. First of all, we need to tell the cake face. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I love this. Yes. Okay. So we have a story. We were trying to learn how to do our makeup because we don't know how. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently you when you put like concealer under your eyes and you really want it to stay, you don't want it to like melt throughout the night, they call it baking, which I'm sure Baker you guys face. have known, but we didn't. And basically that's taking translucent setting powder and really caking it on under there, letting it bake, and then you like brush off and blend it in. Well, apparently if you get certain brands of this, you brush it off and blend it in and everything looks fine and dandy until someone takes a picture of you. <laughs> and then you've got white all under oh your eyes gosh. and anywhere else that you put it. So me and her, went to a business dinner uh, last year and someone took pictures of us that had a flash and when we got the picture sent to us later on i we've got white under our white. eyes white i somehow had white around my mouth <laughs> we just thought bad. it looked so good and then we get these pictures and we're like what guess what though this doesn't do that if you go on into our instagram actually there's one picture of us from vegas you're wearing a black dress i'm wearing a purple one and like i tried to edit that photo but it was the same thing i'm like how come no one told me that mm -hmm. i had white but you can't see it barely. unless you no you can only see mm -hmm. it like when a flash goes off yep in the camera in person you can't tell and it's i think it's like that reflective stuff they put in powder sometimes mm -hmm. that makes it like that yeah it's like the translucent Part of well, it. and maybe that's why this doesn't this it doesn't happen with this because I've actually baked with this Yeah, and had a picture taken and it did not show yeah. up. So, so this is awesome. I mean It really um, helps set your makeup. I feel like it keeps the shine away for mm -hmm. a really long time and You know this kind of loose. It's a loose powder. It's not a compact So when you are putting on a loose powder I feel like you always kind of breathe it in a little bit and it's like a great feeling knowing that I'm not breathing in any chemicals Yeah, oh you always inhale it. Yeah, and I like this too because sometimes when I put on powder I'll feel like if I put too much on and I'm like white all of a sudden and then I'm like mm -hmm. well now I need more bronzer and now I need more powder and now I need more bronzer <laughs> But this one you can actually like put a lot on and it's truly like translucent. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh <laughs> Did you not close it? Was this mine? I didn't bring mine down. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say the one thing I really like about this powder, you know what? This morning I was like, you need to twist that shut. And it was like, eh, I was being lazy. And then I didn't. Well, the and we're thing, sitting here talking about yeah. So the one thing about this is now you can't see, but it has like a twist thing. So when you open it, it's normally not everywhere. It closes the holes and then you can open it up when you're ready to use, you know, powder everywhere. So when you travel or like throw your makeup around, Fail. it doesn't. Fail. <laughs> it's rejuvenating toner pads and I'm like a toner addict. I love toner. If you haven't used toner, you need to use toner because it's so refreshing on your face. So after I cleanse, then I tone and it just like, what it does, like when you cleanse, it opens up all your pores of your face. So when you put a toner on, it like closes everything back up basically. Mm. So these are so refreshing. It's just like, you know how they put like cucumbers on your face during mm. a facial? 
Well, I don't know if you've ever had that done. I haven't, but I can imagine. <laughs> you know how a cucumber smells refreshing? That's how these feel on mm, your face. That's good. Anyways, these are awesome, and it's nice because they're just like already done on the pad, mm -hmm. and then, yeah. You know, just like a side note, if you guys aren't washing your face before you go to bed, you need to start doing that now. today. Like, no joke, I don't care if you don't wear makeup. Ugh. Throughout the day, your skin picks up so many pollutants. Mm -hmm. Pollutants? Pollutants. Someone actually gave me like a really good visual once that was in like going to esthetician school. She said every night when you go to bed, envision that each of the skin, uh, your pores, your, yeah, your pores on your face are like baby birds that wake up. She said, and what do baby birds do when they're <laughs> hungry? They wake up and they open their mouth. She said, while you're sleeping, your pores on your face do this. So whatever is laying on the surface of your skin gets eaten by your pores and pulled into your body. Are you sure? Yeah. Why when you're sleeping do they open? It's just like that's when your body's like recharging and oh. rejuvenating. <laughs> it's like the worst at night. Yeah. So when you're going to bed oh, with yeah. a dirty face, you're Ugh. really getting all of that sucked into your skin. And she said some crazy statistic thing. I can't remember exactly mm -hmm. what it was, but it was like for every night you don't wash your, your skin, you age yourself like another three hours. Yeah. Or something crazy like I that. Believe that. So. Wash your skin. Well, and I mean, we know how hard it is sometimes when you're freaking tired at the end of the day. A clean face is the best feeling in the entire world, but it sounds so hard to like go do the whole process. But it's so important. It's truly like taking care of your health in mm -hmm. another way. Yeah. I've started to kind of try to view it as like a little bit of a self care time and just have fun with it and like kind of pamper myself a little bit that little like 10 minute period every night mm -hmm. so wash your face do it. Okay, so next on the list is their lip conditioner. I got it in peppermint. Love, 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 love. <clears throat> Everyone should get this. Mm. If you get anything, get some of this. Mm. I'm all about it. Let's just put some on right now. Okay. You gotta do Ooh, a couple it dips. It feels nice. It feels like you again, do, almost do like, like I wanna dig in it. Like coconut. Oh yeah, it's light. Mm-hmm. Like but it's refreshing. And it's got a light mm. peppermint scent. Mm. Yep. Believe me, you put this on, people are going to want to be smooching you. Look at our lips. Mmm. <laughs> it's really nice. Love it. This is this is a win. Okay, last but not least. Dun dun dun. Um, I actually didn't order these, but Susie ended up giving them to me to try because I personally, like, struggle with dry scalp really bad in the winter time. And a lot of the shampoos and conditioners out there are just filled with alcohols and perfumes and all these things that will just like worsen it. And so, Parabens. yeah, even if they're claiming to be like super um, hydrating and all these things, it may not be doing that for your scalp. And remember, like our skin's the biggest organ on our body mm -hmm. and it's gonna absorb anything that we're putting on it. So like the lotions, shampoos, conditioners, it's so important to go natural because like that's immediately soaking into our bodies. So anyways, this is the uh, daily conditioner, daily shampoo. I can't remember, it's, it looks like this. I can't remember which one it is, it doesn't say on there. But it's like the normal. Maybe that's just what the normal one's yeah. called, just your everyday, daily. Yeah. So. We'll, we'll, we'll link it below. Yeah. I used to be a hairdresser so i've tried a lot of hair stuff and i really like these there's nothing that i really bad about them there's nothing about them that i'm like this is the best thing ever but i think that it is in the fact that you know that you're putting like a really good product on your head and um, it doesn't have all that nasty stuff it does its job like my hair feels clean after it does if you've ever used like a sulfate free shampoo who, like they it takes them a little more to suds up if at all this does suds up but it um, not a ton but I would recommend it conditioners like light it's conditioning but not like heavy so thanks for watching guys we wanted to bring these to you because we always talk you know nutrition and we're always talking about mindfulness and um, working that into your everyday habits and so we kind of wanted to do a little bit different video today and bring you those green health and beauty products um, because that's important you know 
Good health isn't just about nutrition, it's all those other key areas as well. Mm -hmm. And we get so many questions from you guys on what is a great product to use. So of course we were happy to do this and like test it out for you mm -hmm. ourselves. Um, we are gonna be ordering more stuff to try out. They have a lot of makeup, they have like eyeshadows, blushes, lipstick. Beauty Counter has so many amazing products. So mm -hmm. we're gonna be ordering more and doing more videos, but if you guys are interested in ordering any of the things that we shared today or um, just want to take a look at what they have to offer yourselves, we're going to be linking it below, so make sure to check that out. As you have probably seen, we're girly girls. We love products. We love makeup and skincare and all of those things, and so we don't think that you have to sacrifice like high quality good products um, to get things that work and that are fun to use. And so we're excited to like continue to dive into this and share with you guys our thoughts on all the products. Well, thanks for tuning in and we will see you guys next time.